I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today, what we're going to do, I made a video on a lightweight lanyard not too long ago. And we use this thing called a chisel. So a chisel is a rope glider. All it does is it tends, it tends a friction hitch. It's not a rated piece of equipment. Its job is just to manage the friction hitch on your lanyard. Um, so I, I got a lot of comments that people are really having a hard time finding the chisel nowadays. So while I was making a, um, a third hand, I have this boat clip on it and I was realizing that it looks a lot like a chisel. So today what we're going to do is make another lanyard using a fixed eye bolt clip and see how it works in place of a chisel. All right, let's get to it. Here's the lanyard that we made. It was a lightweight lanyard. So we had bought a lightweight double locking aluminum clip or snap. Um, I bought a thimble and further down we have a a, a press a cord it's an ocean cord and here's the chisel connected to your um, carabiner and on the end um, we just have a stopper knot but we had this clip to keep the tail off the ground it's not a rated clip it's just so when you're walking around this tail wouldn't be touching the ground so those are the components of the first one so this time around these are these are all components that I had in my bags um, I have a a double locking snap. It's not aluminum, so it's going to be heavier. I had a thimble, so I've already put it on my clip. I've got this carabiner, and I'm going to use this one to connect to the um, press it cord. And this is the bolt clip that I'll use in place of the chisel. I have the secondary carabiner. Um, I'll show you what I plan on doing at the end. Uh, we can also turn it into a two-in-one lanyard if we really wanted to, but. At the beginning of this, we'll just show it as a one directional lanyard. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll get the end that I plan on putting the snap on. I plan on this end here. So I put the um, rope through the eye and then I'll do my double fisherman's bend. I'll go back toward the carabiner. I'm not the carabiner, but the snap. When I'm making the eye or the tail, I want to have about um, three inches of tail. So I'll line that up right now. Once I get my three inches of the tail, I'll snug it up. Okay. Now I'll put it on that thimble there. When I get closer, I'll set it in there nicely. All right, right on there. Snug it up. Okay. So this will be the this will be the part that I'll throw around the tree and snap to my other side. And that's about three inches of tail. And the next thing that I want to do is I think I'm going to use a distal. So if I'm throwing it around this way, this will be the top of my hitch. So to tie the distal, I'll do three wraps downward. One, two, three. And I want to make sure the tails are equal. I'm going to throw this around, come across and back through. I gotta fix my tail here. Okay, so there we got, have the distal. Make it snug and tight it and up. Make sure it's gonna hold. Okay, so now this is the point where I'll, I'll get the carabiner and I'll put one eye through the carabiner. I'll get the boat clip. I'll throw it on and then I'll get the other eye. I'll throw it on and then I'm going to take this all the way to the other side of the carabiner. Okay. It's kind of tight, which is good. We don't want to, to roll around. Okay. Throw this uh, uh, boat clip on this side over here push it through all right there so now once I have it on I'll just grab this snap and I'll pop it in on the rope there it goes now that's gonna be my tending portion so now it's on here and notice it this is not a rated piece of equipment it doesn't need to be because it's only gonna tend this hitch 
this carabiner in these eyes, this is your life support. That's the most important part of it. So you'll see how that locks in. And then when I decide to tend, I'll pull this and that boat clip will tend really nicely. So we got that all put together. On this end is it where I'll put a stopper. And for my stopper, I'll use a double fisherman's. So to do that, I'll wrap two, two wraps and I'll come back through. And in the same way as the, um, the one where my carabiner is, I want at least three inches of tail on this. So that's about three inches. Now I'm going to tighten it up. So there we have it. Um, it's all put together. So what I plan on doing is going out to the tree, put my saddle on and just put it around a couple of branches and just show you how it works. We got the clip, friction hitch, the knot, um, tender, carabiner, and a stopper knot. All right, next we'll go out to the tree and test it out. All right, so here we go. The clip that I installed on the on that side, I'll put it around, put it to my D-ring on the side, and you can see this, I'll kind of hold it like this. You can see how this tends it, and you sit back. So if you need more, just like any other lanyard, and then this is how it tends. Pretty nice, a, a cool little option um, if we're having a hard time finding a chisel. Also, there's another thing that I wanted to do is on this end, I'll put a, um, a carabiner. And I think with this, it will be pretty easy to use or turn this single lanyard with this one directional friction hitch into a two and one lanyard. So I would have to change this one out to maybe a, a pressic hitch because it's it can go in two directions. It locks both ways. This one's only one directional. So it can only go this way and it, uh, it won't lock the opposite. Locks real good this way, this distal. So what I'll do is I'll uh, undo this and then I'll throw a carabiner on this side. I've got one right here. So on this end, I'll do a double fisherman's so I'll put the rope through here and then I'll wrap back toward the carabiner making sure that my tail is at least three inches make it three all right that's at least three now I'm gonna snug it up and I'll put the gate on that that's gonna be on the main axis so now that I have this on, I'm going to have to change out this uh, friction hitch to an English pressic. So simple enough, I'll disconnect this. Grab the boat clip, take off the boat clip. Now undo this distal. Now to do the English pressic, just grab both eyes together. And I'm just going to do like a four wrap one. So go in two. Four wraps, it's actually two because it's a two part line here. I'll throw these two through here. Okay. Tie dress and set it. Okay. Now I'll go back to that carabiner. Put it on. Throw on that boat clip again. The other eye to the carabiner. Bring them back up to this side here. Alrighty. Alright. So now I'll clip the boat clip back on. Connect to the side. So now that holds, oops, I'll make sure it holds, hang on. Okay, now it's holding. So if I was gonna turn this into where I'm gonna do double, I would throw this one to the center, right? And I would disconnect the boat clip. And now it locks in this direction. And if I wanted to go over in another branch, I can lock, open the carabiner, connect it and then I can disconnect this 
And then if I wanted to, then I could go over a different branch, connect back to itself, and then disconnect this one. You know, you'll still be connected without the fear of losing this because it'll just sit there. And then if I wanted to go back to using a single lanyard, then I click this back, just get this out of the way by putting it up here. And this could be a single use lanyard again. And it still tends, it'll still tend the same way. So there you go. Instead of a chisel, bolt clip will work. And you can have another option of turning it into a two-in-one lanyard. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.